Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. So in today's video, I'm going to be chatting all about Generation Beauty in New York City. I have attended Generation Beauty for the past three years and it's always such a great time. So I am going to tell you all about the weekend. I'm going to tell you about the different brands that were there, the different goodies that we got, the ginormous goodie bag that we all got for attending the event. I'm gonna also show you all of the products that I bought at great discount this weekend. I told myself that I wasn't really planning on buying anything, but you wave that sale in my face and I'm just like, yes, okay, fine, it's fine, I'll just, I'll buy it, it's fine. And I'm also gonna tell you about someone very special that I met, so we have a lot to get through, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. If you are new, welcome, my name is Jamie, and I would love to have you hit that subscribe button so that we can have you back here, and yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, so Generation Beauty is a beauty convention that happens in New York City. Usually around this time of year, last year it was in September, this year it was in October, it was October 13th and 14th. I am filming this on the 14th, so I was there earlier today. Um, it's at the Javits Center in New York City. It's just this big convention center and there are over 60 brands at the convention. Um, this is run by Ipsy, so Ipsy puts this on every single year for us and it is just incredible. It's so much fun. I highly recommend it if you are in the area or if you want to make like a trip out of it, come for the weekend. I think it's worth it. Tickets are around $149, but you can always get a discount. There are so many discount codes, um, like Ipsy advertises discount codes for it. So I got my ticket for $99. Um, so me and my mom got our tickets for $99. And I personally think it is totally worth it. I think it's worth the money. I think you get so much makeup that it kind of like, equals the amount that you paid, if not more. What am I saying? You're getting a really good value for what you paid, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> so I think I'm going to start by showing you guys the goodie bag, then I'll show you all of the like freebies that we got, and then I will end with the stuff that I spent my hard-earned money on. So this is the giant goodie bag that we received this year. Um, it's different every year. The first year that I went, you got a goodie bag on the first and second day, like you had your day one and your day two goodie bags. Last year and this year, you just get one for both days, but it's still a crap ton of stuff, so it's kind of like it was the first time I went, because it's still the same amount of stuff that you're getting, you're just getting it in one giant bag as opposed to two. I do think that last year's goodie bag was better than this year's goodie bag but that's okay, because um, I still think that we got a lot of really great stuff. So I'm just gonna show you guys everything that we got. Um, I hope you're interested. I, I feel like that's why you'd be watching this video, right? Is it if you are interested? Okay. Anyway, so there's really no rhyme or reason to this. I'm just going to pull some stuff out of this bag. So we got by Eyelore the Vegas Nay Shining Star Eyelashes. I'm actually really excited. These look absolutely beautiful. I'm just gonna throw stuff. From Moda, we got the Pro Variety Magic Sponges 4-pack. So it's just a bunch of different shaped and sized sponges. I'm actually very excited about this because I love makeup sponges. I use one every single day. So I think that that is really cool. On the other hand, Pure gave us their hard as a rock sponge. Um, I feel like the feedback for this has just been like crap, so I don't know why they're still promoting this or making this or spending their money to manufacture this, but it's probably going to go in the trash. I'll try it one time just to see if maybe they improved it, but if it's the same as it was before, then it's literally hard as a rock and doesn't blend anything. We got a full-size shampoo and conditioner. Oh, that's the other thing. Okay, so, as you know, I am a cruelty-free YouTuber. Um, I cannot guarantee that all of these brands are cruelty-free. In fact, there's a very good chance that some of them are not cruelty-free. I don't know all of the brands' cruelty-free stances. There were a ton of cruelty-free brands that I love and support there, which I thought was incredible, but... I did pay $99 to get into the event, so if I receive something that is not cruelty-free for free, 
I'm still going to use it. I'll just use it off camera. Um, and then I'll just never buy anything from the brand. But I'm not going to waste it because I'm just not going to waste it. I'm not a wasteful person, guys. I'm just not. So this is by the brand When. It says Nature Beauty Harmony. It's the restorative cleansing conditioner. Hi. No, it's okay. What? 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 Oh, hi. I'm, I'm showing them what I got. <laughs> Where are you going? So upon looking at these further, they're actually both conditioners. <laughs> so we got the Winter Cranberry Mint Cleansing Conditioner as well as the Mandarin Italian Fig Restorative Cleansing Conditioner. I really want to smell the cranberry one. Oh, that smells amazing. Oh, please be cruelty free. <gasps> leaping mother freaking bunny, bitch. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that leaping bunny. Look at that. Look, there it is. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm excited. I hope it's good. I hope it doesn't make my hair look like shit. So, we focus. Thank you. Thank you. All right. What else did we get? We got a lot of masks, um, just like we did last year. So, this is the. I'm Lemon Layering Mask by Tony Moly. The It's Real Squeeze Mask in Blackberry by Innisfree. This is <clears throat> the Vital Proteins Marine Collagen. Oh, it's collagen. I was like, what, what kind of mask is this? It's a dietary supplement, so. This, this brand wasn't even at the convention. It's really weird because usually it's just like the brands that were there are the brands that you get in the goodie bag, but this year it's like there are brands in here that were not at the convention, and then there are some brands that were at the convention, <coughs> two-faced, um, that didn't put anything in the goodie bag, so, hmm, weird. Um, these are by Sue and these are the lip patches as well as like a mask. Um, we got masks from them last year too. I don't remember what I thought of them. We got a lot of discount codes. This was honestly the best thing in this goodie bag. We got a full size blush by The Bomb. This is Cabana Boy. I will show it to you guys. The Bomb was definitely by far my favorite booth because everything was 50% off and they always give amazing full-size products in the goodie bag. So that's what Cabana Boy looks like. I am so whoop, pumped to play with this. It looks absolutely beautiful. Oh yeah, we are going to get along just fine. That is stunning, so I am so excited. The main reason that I am filming this like the day of is because I want to start playing with this stuff right away but I want to film it while it's still all like in the bag, so that is why. Okay, um, this is by Loritzi Cosmetics, which I had never heard of before this convention. And this is their lip pencil in the color Bare. I'm not gonna swatch everything because then this will literally be eight million years long. This is by Mark Anthony, True Professional Hair. These are the hydrating shampoo and conditioners I really liked the stuff that we got from them last year, but I don't think they're cruelty free. So I'll use it and then just, you know, that's it. Oh, we also got a hydrating coconut oil and shea butter. Yeah. Um, we received the Shea Moisture, which I don't think I saw Shea Moisture there, um, Daily Hydration Shampoo. That's what that looks like. We got a Lipstick by Physicians Formula. This is the Healthy Lip in the color Raisin Immunity. I'm really excited about this because I really love that formula, so I'm happy to have another color. This is by the brand Dirty Little Secret. It's their liquid lipstick in the shade Bear. Really struggling with where to put things right now. This is by IBY Beauty, inspired by You Beauty, and this is a Velour liquid lipstick in the shade berry berry which I think looks really pretty so I'm quite excited about that I've never tried IBY before and I've like wanted to so I was really happy to see that they were here 
I think this is for my conditioner and conditioner. <laughs> um, we got a Kajal pen by Pop Beauty. This is in the color City Black. I'm pretty positive that's the same exact thing we got last year. That's fine. It's fine. Um, oh, this is something that I'm just like straight up giving away. This is by MAC Cosmetics. It's the Lip Tensity Lipstick in Noblesse. Um, it's like a dark, dark purple. I'm going to see if I have a friend that wants it. And if not, I am going to donate it because I just, it's not my color. And I just, I really don't like MAC, so I'm just not going to even bother. We got a VDL Lumi Layer Primer. Another pump. It's nice that they provided that. This is by Chella. This is the Tantalizing Taupe Eyebrow Cream. Yes. This is by Buxom, which I was so happy they were there. I don't think they were there last year. This is the Big T's Plumping Mascara, so I'm pretty excited to try that. Okay. Um, Luxie Brushes was there. Where's the other brush? Oh, here it is. <laughs> no, no, just here. No, it's not. Luxie Brushes was there, and we received the 514 Blush Brush, which just looks like this. I am super excited about this. I also bought something from Luxie, which I will show you in just a moment. Hey guys, it's me. So I'm just editing this video, and I realized that I completely forgot to show you what I bought from Luxie's booth. So I bought an essential face kit. Basically, it's normally $50. It was on sale for $38. It came with five face brushes. I will link it below if I can find it for you guys, but I'm so sorry that I totally forgot to include it in this video. Um, I hope you don't mind, but yeah, let's just get back to the video. This is by Mustas, Be a Skin Vegetarian. The Daily Harvest Squeeze Cleanup Mask Pack. This is by Pixie. This is the Multi Bomb Cheek and Lip color in the shade Sheer Sculpt. So I'm assuming it's like a cream contour. This is the Briogeo Rosarco Milk Reparative Leave In Conditioning Spray. I actually really love that, so I was really happy to see that. This is the Acne Free, Oil Free Acne Cleanser. I am just going to give this away. I don't struggle with acne, and I. Yeah, I'm just, I just don't have a use for it. Super excited about this. This is by Impress, and these are press-on nails in a really pretty like olive green color with some gold accent. These are actually press-ons as well. These are from the drugstore. I think they're by Kiss. Okay, then we got an Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in Ball Harbor. I'm very excited. I love the Ofra Liquid Lipsticks, and I really love their new packaging. This is by Yensa Color and Face Tone Up Primer in Essential Glow. This is the Oribe Dry Texturizing Spray. They weren't even at the convention, but it's cool that we got that. I'm pretty sure they're not cruelty free though. This is the Belief Aqua Bomb Sleeping Mask. Really excited about this because I have heard really good things about that. This is by Grande Lips. This is the Hydrating Lip Plumper. I love that we got a lot of like full size lipsticks. This is by NYX and this is the lingerie lip in the shade French Made. This is the Absolute New York Glimmer Lip Spark in the shade Ruby. This is the Coats Face Natural Tinted SPF. It's like a sunscreen brand. Then we got the Derma E Overnight Peel Exfoliant Facial. We actually, I think, got that last year as well. This is the Bioderma mm, Light Moisturizer. So that's that. Then we got the Joa I'm Your Jelly Bay Matte Gel Lipstick. It's just a little sample. The Catrice Long Lasting Eyeshadow in Diner and Blanc. This is the Ebonel Ultimate Brightening Peel Gel. I don't know. This is the Koki Nail Polish in the color. I guess I'll just show you because uh, it doesn't have a color on it. Mmm. Mmm. Just a white. That's 
boring. Uh, oh well. This is the Nomad Stockholm Nordic Lights Intense Eyeshadow. Then we got the Nexus um, Damage Healing Conditioner with Keratin. We received the Essence Eyeliner Pen, which I'm really excited about. I didn't see that when I went through this the first time. We got the Pure Lease Watermelon Energizing Aqua Bomb. Yes, we did. We got the Jivy Moisturizer in lavender. We got a lot of moisturizers. I am set a moisturizer for quite a while. This is the Creme Shop Creamy Gel Eyeliner in black. And last but not least is another mask. This is the Cleansing Clay Mask by Freeman Beauty Infusion. That's what that looks like. So that was the goodie bag this year. Again, I think last year's was a little bit better. We got a full-size Tarte palette last year, which was really cool. Tarte wasn't there this year, though, so I can't blame them for not being in the goodie bag, but, like, someone could have stood up to the plate there. I'm just saying. Now I'm going to show you all of the free items that they were giving away at all of these stands. And, again, just going to try and get through this as quickly as possible. So at Chella, um, they had, like, a little wheel and whatever you like land on is what you got. I got a sharpener, so. I mean, I guess that will come in handy someday. Um, I don't really know, I don't remember what brand this was. Love by Chaz Dean. It is a perfume sample. Oh, no, just kidding. What? At Luxie, um, got two brushes because my mom got one but she didn't want it so she gave it to me. I picked out the Duo Fiber Powder as well as the concealer. So you got one free brush, which was awesome. IBY Beauty gave away a little brush as well. This is their crease brush. This is by Laritzi Cosmetics. They gave away a lip gloss. This was, pretty sure this was a wheel? No, no it wasn't, I'm lying. I'm thinking of a different place. But they gave away a lip gloss. This is in the shade Trick. I'm really not sure what it looks like. Ofer gave away a full-size lipstick. So this is in their old packaging, which is kind of weird. Wait, I'm just realizing that. It's a little weird. Um, but this is in the shade Milan. Again, I really love their lipstick, so I'm excited. This my mom got. This was the Chella Ivory Lace Highlighter, like a pencil to highlight underneath your eyebrow. She gave it to me because she didn't want it. This is by Catrice. This is the ultimate color lipstick in hot and spicy, which that it is. It is quite hot and spicy. I do say so myself. These are by the Creme Shop. They're four mini correcting sponges. So it's supposed to be for like color correcting, but I just think they're really cute. They look like little Easter eggs. So I don't color correct, but I will use them. Jouer. What did they give away? Because I think it was more than just this, but um, we have some samples of their concealer as well as a ton of samples of their foundation. Like they gave like a bunch of really great colors here. So I'm excited because I actually really want to try their foundation. There might be something else by them in this bag and if there is, I'll show you guys. This was Joa's little container that they gave us and inside we got a couple of samples. So we have the skin polish peel off mask as well as the selfie ready mattifying primer which we got two of so that was pretty neat. No idea how that went. Okay. At Absolute New York we got this cute little pouch. I love all the packaging that we get. It's really cool. Um, and what did we even get? Oh yes, we got the Skin Glow in Halo, which is a loose highlighter, which I will never use. And then a holographic lip gloss, which I will never use. So those are going to get donated. Very nice, but no. Then at Pop Beauty, I got another Kajal pen, and this is in inky purple. 
those are both definitely still in my eyeliner drawer from last year. So not even going to open that yet. Um, this is by Dirty Little Secret. This was the lip gloss in the shade Extra. I remember it was a really nice nude gloss. This is the Koki Kissable Liquid Lipstick in the shade Nirvana, which looks like a really pretty nude, so I am quite pumped about that. This is by Buxom. We got one of the Vava Plump Shiny Liquid Lipsticks. I got the shade... I don't even know, so let's just look at it. Let's see. Please be a nude. Please be a nude. Oh, it's not. Okay. Ooh, that's really pretty. It's like this like magenta color. I'm terrible at describing colors, but that is pretty, so I am excited about that. Go over there. Okay. Then from Dirty Little Secret, um, again, my mom like gave me something, um, but I got two lipsticks in Foreplay and Don't Tell. Those are both free. It's free, it's for me. This is by Innisfree. It's the Intensive Hydrating Serum for your face. They also had like, did they have a wheel? I thought they had a wheel, but today I didn't see a wheel, so maybe not. Ooh, this one's a really good one. Physician's Formula gave away a full size face serum. This is the Rosé All Day. I always see this in my local CVS and I always almost buy it, but then I'm like, that's $15 for Physician's Formula, so no. Okay. This is by Pure Lease. It's the coconut oil and coffee sugar body scrub. Sounds messy. This is by The Bomb. This is their scuba water resistant black mascara. I feel like I got that last year. I feel like I still have it. I feel like I didn't even open it. Um, this was by Mad Skincare. And it's just a bunch of little samples. I don't really know what they are samples of. This is by Jouer. Oh, this is what Jouer gave us. The Long Wear Lip Cream in the shade N Noisette. So it just looks like a nice nude color. At the Creme Shop, we also got some eyelashes. That's what they look like. They look pretty, so I'm excited for those. Grande Lashes. I literally have about 10 of these because it was the end of the day today and I guess they were just trying to get rid of products. So they literally just stuffed my mom and I's bag with these. <laughs> this is the Grande Primer. It's like an eyelash primer for before mascara. This is by Eva NYC. It is the Queen, spelled K-W-E-E-E-E-N, glitter spray. So this is a glitter spray for your hair. You know, not my everyday look, but maybe for special occasions. This is by Essence. It is a lipstick. Let's swatch her. Oh, that's pretty. Look at that. Look look at that swatch in the worst places possible. Um, that is really pretty. I'm pumped about that. Ooh, I want to swatch this for you guys. Okay, so this is by Pure. This is their liquid, like, glitter... I don't even know what it's really called, but it's their liquid glitter eyeshadow, kind of like along the lines of the Stila ones in the shade Queenie. I swatched this earlier and I was like, wow, that is what I'm talking about. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. So pretty. So I am actually very excited about that. At first I thought it was a loose glitter, but I am so happy that it's not because <laughs> I would not use a loose glitter. This is another thing by Nomad. This is the Around the World Light Infusion Powder. Then from Pop Beauty, we also got a lipstick. So this is the Permanent Pout in the shade Go Getter. Ooh, fun fact about Pop Beauty, I actually won their giveaway today. So they're like sending me stuff. I'm really excited. Um, yeah, I'm really excited. So this is something I bought. So let's put that in a different bag. Okay. Then we have another one of those lash primers. And we have by Ebonel. This is the vitamin C serum. So really good stuff that we got in my personal opinion. I am quite pleased with most of the free stuff that we got. And now let's look at the stuff that I bought. <laughs> 
So all of the brands were having really incredible deals. A lot of them were 30% off of everything that they had there, or they had like bundle deals. The bomb was 50% off everything, so I went a little while there. Um, but yeah, it was just really good deals. So one of the first stands that I went to and bought something at was Clutch Nails. So these are more press-on nails. I got um, these square, long, glossy, natural nude nails, and then I got the stiletto long, matte, black, and bougie nails. So it's like a matte black and then just like a pinky nude. I thought they would be really good, like, classic nails, if you know what I mean. This I was really excited about because I have been wanting to buy this for, I don't know, since it like released and I just like could never bite the bullet to purchase it. But since it was 30% off, I was like, yes, I'm gonna buy you. This is the Too Faced Born This Way Super Coverage Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. And I was shade matched. I told her that I want to highlight my under eyes, so she gave me the shade Snow. Um, I told her that I tried to color match myself online and I thought almond would be good for me But she said it was gonna be too yellow and I trusted her so got the shade snow I'm quite excited. I will swatch it for you guys just because I know swatches really help me with face products So that's what it looks like. They also had a lot of the like new shades of the born this way foundation there and she shade matched me because I was like, you know, I really can't find my perfect shade in that foundation. And so I was shade matched to Seashell because she said that all of their older shades like pull really yellow and this one has more of a pink, a pink undertone. I didn't buy it because I was like, I need to get through like so many foundations right now. Let me not. But at least now I know my shade for the future because I, I do think I like that foundation. It's just that the shade I have is just not good for me. But anyway, that is what Snow looks like. I think that's going to be a really good like highlighting concealer for me. It's coming off a lot lighter on camera, but in person. In person is definitely a little bit deeper than it's coming up on camera so I think it is going to work quite well for me then what booth did I go to next I went to the bomb and I have four things to show you so I really knew that I wanted the take home the bronze bronzer I got mine in the shade Thomas because I swatched it and I just thought that this would be the best shade for me for my like what I wanted to use it for. I don't want it for contouring. I strictly just want to bronze with it and it's supposed to be like an anti-orange bronzer so that is the shade right there and I think it is going to be quite a nice shade for my skin tone so I am very excited about that. Again that is in Thomas and then I purchased the Meet Matte Hughes Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Charming I'll show you guys this as well. I thought this shade looked like a beautiful like fall staple color, so I'll show you. That is what she looks like. God, I really am just the queen of swatching, aren't I? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. There we are. No, no, don't focus on my face. Focus over here. Focus over here. There we go. <laughs> It's just like a nice like dark rosy color, which I really gravitate to during the fall. So I picked her up and then um, I had to spend like five more dollars to get a free gift. So naturally I said, yes, I need to spend five more dollars. And I think I spent like 10 more dollars, but this is the Schwing liner. My holy grail, I had run out of this a while ago and I have been missing it, so I was like, give me the Schwing. And she was like, yes girl, I got you. So I picked up the Schwing liner and this was my free gift with purchase. This is the Smoke Bomb with Foil. This is the Volume 4 Foiled Eyeshadow Palette. It's like a three pan palette and it's just like, I think this is like the cutest little thing. It's a good like little travel palette in my opinion. Let me swatch a roo for you here. That's a that's what they look like right there. <laughs> Guys. 
guys, can someone teach me how to swatch? Because, wow, I'm bad. Um, okay, so that is what I got at the bomb. And then the last stand that I bought something at was Pop Beauté because they had their highlighters. And I have had my eye on these highlighters ever since Jamie Page Beauty started raving about them. I was like, oh yeah, I um, clearly need to try that. Can't open it. Eh. Come on. They really don't cater to people with nails, do they? Come on. Come on. Come on. Three hours later. Come on. Okay, let's try it from the other end. I'm not breaking it now. Just not. It's not like I can return it. Anyway, this is it. Here it is. It is the Pop Prismatic Pop Gilded Light Highlighter. I will swatch her for you because she is just beautiful. That is her right there. You can see that is just look at that glow oh it is so pretty it's even prettier in person you guys I'm really pumped about it so yeah I picked that up and then again I like had to spend a little more to uh, get a free gift so oh, that would have been tragic I bought a blush now I know what you're thinking hey Jamie you have so many blushes Yes, yes I do, but this is going to be equally as hard to open, let's see. This is unlike anything that I own. So this is the Prismatic Pop Illuminating Powder in Bronze Boom. Boom, yo. So that is it right there. I just think that it is so stunning. Like when I swatched it at the booth, I just kind of like sheared it out. Just like blended it out. And I just thought that it was like the prettiest bronzy blush. So I'm excited. I'm quite excited. And then my free gift. So I got this. This was the lovely little liners. So this is a like petite little travel sized um, four, no, five pack of eyeliners. We have a white, a tan, a silver, a black and a black. Two blacks? A black and some other dark colors. So, oh, sassy slate. Oh, okay. So there's like a dark gray and then a black. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. Let me wash my hands. Be right back. Okay. Sorry if I'm in a different position. I feel like my camera moved. <laughs> Um, so that is everything that we got for free, as well as the goodie bag, as well as the things that I purchased. Um, so I just wanted to touch on really quickly on something that was really special to me and that really just like made my entire weekend. I met Samantha March. Now, if you don't know who Samantha March is, I highly recommend that you check out her channel. I will link it below. She has been my favorite YouTuber for quite a while now. Seven or eight months now I've been watching her consistently and she is just the most genuine, down-to-earth, relatable, friendly, kind, just amazing person that I follow here on YouTube and it was so refreshing to see that she is just as sweet and down-to-earth and kind um, in person. So I met her, I met Ashley Clady, and then I met Molly Makeup. So I honestly had never seen anything by Molly Makeup. I didn't really know who she was, but since meeting her, I have subscribed to her YouTube channel and followed her on socials. And she is just so beautiful and really talented. And then Ashley Clady, I have been subscribed to for a couple of months now. I actually found her through Samantha. She is just so sweet and she is so nice on camera and she was equally as nice in person. She's always smiling and it was just so amazing to meet Samantha. Like, it still kind of just blows my mind. And you know, like last year and the year before, like I've met beauty influencers. I met Kathleen Lights, I met Kristen Dominique, I met Nicole Guerrero. And 
they were all super sweet but it was like an organized meetup so it's like you're up there for like a minute you get a picture and then you're on your merry way but since Samantha and her friends were just like attending Generation Beauty um, I was actually able to like stand there and talk with them for like five minutes and we were just having like these normal conversations and they just seemed like friends and I thought that that was so amazing. It was so funny because I was like <laughs> I was stalking all of their Instagrams because I was like where are they? Like I couldn't for the life of me find her so I was like stalking her and Ashley and I was like trying to figure out like okay like they're at this booth or like they were just here um so I, I messaged Samantha and I was like oh my god I want to meet you so bad and she was like oh my god where are you and I was actually upstairs eating lunch with my mom I was like mom we have to go we have to go right now and she was sitting by the Too Faced booth getting smoothies with her friends and I saw her and I was just like, oh my god, she's real. Like, this is so crazy. Um, I was a little starstruck, not gonna lie. Even though I know that they're just normal people, but it's like, I watch her every day. Like, every day I am watching one of her videos. And it's gotten to the point where I feel like she is just like a friend. Like, I'm just catching up with a friend when I watch her videos. And... <laughs> I'm like literally getting emotional right now because I just, I don't know. You'll understand if you've met someone that you like just admire and appreciate and look up to. You'll understand like where I'm coming from. It was just such a surreal experience. It was so surreal that like I completely forgot everything I wanted to say. I wanted to tell her that I love her books. I wanted to tell her that she's my favorite YouTuber, that I watch her every day, that she literally just like brightens my day every single day. And watching her videos is like my favorite part of like my morning, getting ready. I feel like I'm like getting ready with her. So all of that completely went out of my mind and I was just talking to her about like just life. Like she like... Um, her flight was canceled and she had to take a train here and we were talking about that and then we were just talking about like Just random stuff and then she was like complimenting my makeup. I was complimenting her makeup We were gushing over the Urban Decay Born to Run palette She was wearing the Huda Obsessions palettes, which is so funny because those are like her favorite palettes So I was just like you are you're you're so you <laughs> Um, but yeah, again, like I'm sitting here gushing, but it was just such a surreal experience. And so yesterday I like couldn't for the life of me run into them if I tried. Like I was always not where they were. Today, after my first booth, which was Luxie, turn around and my mom is like, isn't that the YouTuber? And I was like, oh my God, yes it is. Like, how? How is this happening? So she remembered me, and she was like, oh my god, like, what are you wearing on your eyes today? How's your day going? Um, we were talking about, like, LaGuardia and flying, and it's snowing in Iowa right now, so she's, like, worried about that, but it was just so cool running into her again, and they remembered me, which was so cool, and I got another picture. I'll be inserting pictures here for you guys, but they were just, they were just so nice, and... She, like, messaged me on Instagram, said it was so good meeting me. She thought my mom was so sweet, and then she was, like, commenting on my pictures, and she followed me, which kind of made me freak out. I was like, oh, my God. What? Um, which I know is silly, because, again, she's just, like, a normal person. But it's, like, I just feel like this, like, connection with her that it is so surreal for her to, like, know who I am. Is that weird? Am I getting into like weird territory right now? Because I kind of feel like I am. Samantha, if you're watching, I'm not a creep. <laughs> ah! Um, anyway, so that was definitely the highlight of my weekend. But all in all, Generation Beauty is so much fun. I love it because you're surrounded by all these people who just love makeup. And it's just like, it's such an inspiring space. Because in my day-to-day -day life, like, I don't have really any friends that are as into makeup as I am, like, even remotely as into makeup as I am. Um, so it's not something that I can really, like, talk to them about or, like, gush over new products with them about. But here, I was just finding myself, like, talking with strangers over makeup. And it was just, like, it kind of creates this bond between strangers, which I think is really beautiful. So... 
all in all, I highly recommend this event. I really want to go to other beauty events. I would love to go to um, Generation Beauty in like San Francisco. I don't know like what other events there are. I know there's IMATS, but that's not really anything like like huge anymore. Creators don't really go there. I want to go to like more like creator events. So. Anyway, this video is probably 8 billion years long. If you stay till the end, shout out to you. You are the MVP. And if you aren't subscribed, I mean, you stayed this long. You might as well commit and just subscribe. Oh, I'm just saying. <laughs> um, but again, thank you guys so much for watching. It does mean the world to me. I hope that you are having a great day. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.